If you have osteopenia or osteoporosis, one of the things that we have to be concerned about is the loss of bone mass density in the front or the anterior part of this vertebral spine. What starts to happen if someone loses bone mass density in the front, we start to get these wedge fractures. And that's when we see the prototypical unfortunate posture of osteoporosis, where you start getting this turtling or this rounding of the thoracic spine, not because they don't wanna stand up tall or have poor posture, it's because we're getting these wedge fractures of the anterior part of the lumbar spine. And we don't wanna look down, so then we end up doing this and oftentimes we end up with that dowager hump right up and through here. Hey everyone, welcome to the channel. Ed Debu, physical therapist from Integrated Physical Therapy in Bellingham, Washington. When we talk about posture, there's a lot of things that go into it. The first thing we have to be aware of is the position of our neck and how we're kind of carrying it. We want to avoid that forward head type of posture. We want to try to bring our head back over our shoulders. What happens is when our shoulders tend to slouch forward, we get tightness of the pectoralis muscle. And then that feeds into that rounding of our upper back. And then what happens is we also have to be concerned about strengthening the muscles in between the shoulder blade. So we're gonna go over three basic exercises today. The first one is being aware of our cervical or our neck posture. You've probably seen this exercise before, but the idea here is, is it's called a chin retraction or a chin pull. And the idea is, once again, this is not your posture, but a lot of people are forward. So what you'll do is you're gonna bring your chin back, straight back over your shoulders. Now, we don't wanna drop the head too far. We don't wanna look up. So ideally, we wanna bring it straight back. And we're gonna go as far as we can and you're gonna feel a sense of elongation in the back of your spine, and you might even feel a little bit of a stretch in through that area. And if you do, that's fine. Even if you don't, that's okay. But the idea is to bring it back as far as you can, keeping your shoulders relaxed, and you're gonna pause for about a three second count, and then you're gonna release it. When you release it, you're not gonna go all the way back down. Some people like to put a little overpressure on their chin with their opposite hand. Nothing terribly hard, but just a little bit of pressure and for me, for example, I don't get much of a stretch when I do this, but when I put over pressure, then I can feel a little bit of a stretch in the upper part of my back, and it feels kind of good. I'll have you do 10 of those total. These exercises are done daily, and the key is the consistency of the exercises. So I would just probably do about maybe one or two sets of 10 repetitions. The benefit of the first exercise is to try to reposition our cervical spine over our shoulders. The second exercise is gonna work on opening up the chest a little bit and also kind of flattening out that thoracic spine. This next exercise is gonna require a little bit of wall space. So what you'll do is you'll stand away from the wall and you're gonna put your arms up kind of in a Y position. Then you're gonna step back just a little bit this way and then you're going to try to bring your chest in towards the wall and flatten out your chest towards the wall. And as you do that, what we're doing is we're taking that thoracic spine and we're flattening it out a little bit. So arms against the wall, and then you're gonna try to bring your chest in towards the wall. And you should get a nice stretch to the front of your shoulders. You might have to adjust the position of your hips a little bit. And then I want you to hold that position for about a 10 second count. If you have trouble doing that and you're not feeling a stretch in the shoulders or maybe you're getting some joint pain, I'll show you a couple different ways to get a chest opener. If the one against the wall didn't work for you, you'd come to a corner. And remember the goal is to feel a pull in the front of your chest. So come to a corner. Your elbow is about shoulder height, if not just slightly higher. And then you're going to lean in until you feel a pull across the front of your shoulders. And you're gonna hold that there for a 10 second count. And then you're gonna release that. And I'll repeat that anywhere from three to five times. And each time you do it, you should feel like you're going a little bit further. If you don't have a corner, you can do the same stretch into a door frame. So once again, my elbows are slightly higher than my shoulder. I like to bring one foot forward. I know you can't see my feet, but just bring one foot forward to kind of control your body weight. And then shoulders are relaxed. Don't hike them up, let them relax. 
and then lean into the wall a little bit until you get a nice opening from the front of your chest. And then while you're here, make sure you breathe and relax. It's about a 10 second hold. And once again, repeat that three to five times or until you feel like those chest muscles are opening up. So what we've done so far is we've worked on relocating our head so it's back over our shoulders. We've worked on trying to open up the chest and flatten out that thoracic spine a little bit to give us some length. The last one we're gonna work on now is strengthening those muscles in between the shoulder blades. So this is what you'll do. First thing is you'll do your chin pull and that kind of lengthens up your spine, gets it into the right alignment. Then you're gonna bend your arms up and it's gonna be kind of a W. So you're gonna notice here I'm in a W type of pattern. And then what you'll do is you're gonna bring your shoulders back and down and then pinch your shoulder blades together. And you're gonna bring your arms back until you feel some contraction of the muscles in between your shoulder blades. And then you're gonna keep breathing while you hold it back there. This one's gonna be a little bit longer of a hold. This one's gonna be a 10 second hold. And the idea here is, is we wanna build endurance in these muscles. So we just don't wanna be able to contract them and then relax it and only have good posture for the first 10 minutes of the day. We want endurance in that area. So you're gonna hold your arms up into a W, shoulders are relaxed, scapula in the back pocket. Bring your elbows back behind your body until you feel the muscles in between your shoulder blades contracting. Once you feel them contracting, it's gonna be a 10 second hold as you breathe. And after 10 seconds, you'll bring them down slowly and let them relax. And you're gonna repeat that five times. All right, so you have three basic exercises, but I'm telling you, they won't take you very long. And if you can include them into your daily routine, you will start to see an improvement in your posture as well as you might even gain a little bit of height because losing height is pretty common with osteoporosis or osteopenia. All right, guys, as usual, thank you for watching. If you have any questions, please leave them down below. Please give the video a thumbs up and subscribe if you found it to be helpful so you don't miss any of our videos. All right, take care. We'll see you at the next video.